Thanks for coming out today. And our roundtable today is what every business owner should know about 21st century intellectual property issues. The first thing I want to do is uh, introduce our uh, panel here today. Um, we're going to have a panel discussion format. I'll be asking questions, and we're going to be hitting on some major topics here that uh, companies and individuals are facing out uh, in the world, in the business world, uh, pertaining to intellectual property. I'm, uh, my name is David Cooper. I'm the co-chair of uh, the McDonald Hopkins Intellectual Property Group here. Um, first of all, to my far right here is Dave Mobius. And Dave is also a co-chair of our intellectual property practice. Dave uh, practices in all phases of intellectual property law. Uh, specifically, he's involved with um, intellectual property um, transactional work, counseling, as well as litigation strategy and, and, and involved in all phases of litigation. Uh, Dave's been in uh, dozens of uh, uh, district courts, uh, state courts, um, all over the country um, on all kinds of IP issues. He's practiced before the Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit. Um, he's handled patent matters, trademark matters, uh, trade secret matters. He's argued before the Ohio Supreme Court. Um, I can go on and on with Dave's background and experience. So Dave uh, brings a wealth of knowledge and uh, background here. I think that'll be really helpful for us for, for this conversation. Uh, next, I want to introduce uh, Joe Jacoby, who's directly to my right here. Joe practices out, out of our Chicago office. Um, his, his focus is in on um, intellectual property portfolio management as well as litigation. Um, like Dave, Joe's been involved in dozens and dozens of intellectual property suits all over the country. Um, Dave, or Joe, excuse me, he's got a real specific niche um, that very few lawyers have um, in this country, even intellectual property litigators, and he's got a significant amount of um, what's called ITC experience, International Trade Commission experience. So um, Joe brings the world of intellectual property with customs, customs enforcement, trade regulation, that kind of focus and experience to the table as well. And it's something that uh, will be very um, relevant for our conversation today. And then finally, I want to introduce uh, Todd Benny. Um, Todd also practices here in Cleveland as well as our West Palm Beach office. Todd's uh, focus is in on intellectual property transactional work as well as um, intellectual property preparation and prosecution strategies. So Todd, Todd, Todd's got a mechanical background, um, has a wealth of experience in terms of how to set up strategies for businesses uh, in terms of patents, trademarks, um, their, their um, copyrights, other intellectual properties as well. One other thing that Todd brings to the table, and I think will be very good for this roundtable today, is Todd's got a lot of experience as an in-house um, attorney. He worked uh, previously at Caterpillar, as well as uh, being the head of uh, intellectual property at Office Depot um, down in Florida. So, so Todd's got a wealth of experience in terms of how to bring together intellectual property with business planning, um, understanding how to protect and how to enforce rights on behalf of a business, making sure those two worlds um, are consistent with one another. Um, before I go any further, too, um, this is going to be a very interactive format. So if any of you have questions or anybody on the webinar has any questions, um, um, on the webinar side, please just email those in. There will be somebody that will periodically come in and, and provide me the questions. Uh, here in Cleveland, um, what I would recommend is just write them down, um, and, what, what we, and you'll have cards in front of you, and then somebody on the staff here will just, just raise your hand. Somebody on the staff will pick it up and bring it over. If you just answer a ask a question out loud, no problem. I'll just um, repeat it as best I can, so we'll just do it that way. Now, um, just by way of background, uh, I think it's always important to sort of answer the question, why did we come up with this format? Why, why are we even asking or, or talking about this? And, you know, we're 10 years into this new century, into this new millennium, and a lot has changed in terms of how intellectual property is viewed, its importance to business, businesses, uh, its global importance. Um, and with that change, I think it follows with the change you see out in the economy, both the national economy and the international economy, um, different viewpoints as to how it can be utilized to enforce, different viewpoints as to how, avoid, how to avoid IP issues. And with that, there's all kinds of new um, protection strategies, enforcement strategies, uh, defense strategies that 
um, we should be thinking about and you, you should be thinking about. Uh, some of these things we'll be talking about today um, may be things you're thinking about already. They might be things you don't even uh, realize may be an issue for your business. So we thought it might be a good time to sort of hit on some, at a, high, at a relatively high level, um, some, some key things going on in this world with respect to intellectual property and how it could affect your business.